What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Tony Hawk's Downhill Jam for the PS2. Uh, today we are doing 20 odd minutes I think of, of this game. Um, so be prepared to hear me talk for a little bit. It's for, it's for the good of humanity I hear. Uh, so I've been gone for a little bit. I've been gone for about a little over a month and I know um, and I'm sure people are just used to it now that I just go on random hiatuses. Um, but if you could kind of hear and, and I'll listen to the, the last few episodes, I wasn't doing very well, um, mentally, I wasn't doing very, very well in my life. I was just, I was really depressed and I was feeling really alone. I was going through a lot of stuff that was really personal and you know i appreciate you guys you know not you know trying to get in my business or anything i'm i'm a very private person i don't really like to talk about my business um, but i guess that's kind of my downfall when it comes to uh that kind of thing happening in my life uh but it, it's been about a month since then and i feel a lot better i feel pretty good i went to an all-time low and i'm now back at my normal subpar mood I suppose uh, but everything's been pretty good I haven't I don't really have much complaints uh, in regards to life at this very point um, I have a couple things I'll probably get into later in the video but I just want to kind of recap what's been going on with me what's been going on with um, Pro Skater X uh, just I know you guys have probably seen me active on Pro Skater X Twitter all that kind of stuff I've been pretty active on there regardless of you know not uploading YouTube videos um, and thank you for not uh, busting my balls about that. You know, it's a lot easier to interact with uh, fans and Tony Hawk enthusiasts um, than it is to record videos for me. The, these usually take a long time, and usually these aren't the first take. These are. This is actually like the fifth time I've tried recording this. I did try over like the span of the month, but I just never. I just never got anything good it was really depressing and it was just sad so I figured you know I just gotta wait until I'm out of this slump and I knew I'd get out of it eventually and thankfully I'm um, somewhat recovered uh, so yeah so through that whole month I didn't do much streaming I think I streamed maybe three times overall I just started streaming again the other day uh, I streamed last night up to almost 20 viewers last night I don't know what happened to get 20 viewers, but thank you if anyone showed up to that. Um, pretty cool. I can't believe that. Clearly, you guys are still still thinking I'm relevant. Don't know why. It's okay. Um, but, yeah. So, I streamed a couple times. It was towards the last week or so. Um, nothing's been going on with my job. I'll tell you that right now. Nothing's changed at all. I've taken on a couple new projects. That's about it. I haven't really nothing nothing to report back on the job front. Um, what did I? What else did I do? Besides some of the obvious points that I'll probably get into, I want. I just kind of want to go over the stuff that is less less detailed, I suppose, to kind of lead up to the other stuff but I guess I'm stalling now because I don't really remember what else I did um, I guess I'll talk about uh, the past two two to now two, two weeks and to to now it's now it's Tuesday night it's like it's Monday into Tuesday it's midnight right now um, I haven't had my car my car is a uh, water cooler busted and I haven't had a car for about two weeks. It's bumming me out. It's about fucking depressing as all hell not to have a car. But right now, it's not cool to not have a car, especially when you're used to having a car and driving to work and uh, having a normal schedule and going out for lunch and stuff like that. It kind of throws you off for a while. Hmm. Sorry, I'm yawning. It's, I'm pretty tired. It's a lot later than it should be for me to be up. Uh, but, yeah, I haven't had a car. I, the story behind me breaking down 
was um, <laughs> I was at a Dunkin' Donuts drive-thru where I'm often seen because I, I go there every morning. Um, I went to a different one today. Uh, this time it was I think it was a Wednesday. It must have been a Wednesday morning. I think it was Wednesday morning. And I went to a different Dunkin' Donuts, and I was in the drive-thru line. It was pretty long. My car starts freaking out. It's like, you know, engine heat is, you know, above normal, whatever. Please, you know, turn off your engine. <laughs> I was like, well, I kind of can't. I'm in a drive-thru right now. I'm kind of stuck between two people. If I turn my car off now, I probably won't be able to turn it back on. So I kind of just put, I put it in neutral, and just... You know, hope that when I put it back in drive, my car wasn't going to blow up. Thankfully, cars are built these days to, to not blow up on the spot. At least we hope so. Uh, so I I then keep pulling forward. And st it's still hot. I plan on pulling over as soon as I get my food from the drive-thru. Um, so I'm just kind of pulling forward, pulling forward finally get to the window and have my food having an anxiety attack about to fucking absolutely shit myself because of I'm just waiting for my food they're taking forever and you know it seems like forever because I'm I'm really waiting for it because my car is in dire shape right now um, so as soon as I get my food I'm like yes okay I'm gonna drive drive away and then it's just fucking low power mode right there I, as soon as I put it back in a drive it's like no you if you've overstayed you're welcome you should not be driving your car so I went into low power mode and I had to it was basically as if it was in neutral I think it still had like a little bit of power but it was like five miles per hour so I just rolled into a parking spot thankfully I was next to one if I was at the other Dunkin Donuts that I usually go to I don't think I would have been that lucky I think I wouldn't have had a parking spot because they're usually packed in the morning at that one and the parking spots are a little weird from the drive-thru. Uh, this drive-thru is like, as soon as you get out the window, you know, there's a, it's, it's a mall parking lot. So it's just, it's all parking lots. So I just drove into one of those, thankfully, you know, had to call AAA and have them tow my car to the garage. And, um, yeah, I had to get a ride to work. Well, my car was in the garage. They couldn't look at it until the following Monday. So it was already like three days, three, four, five days without my car already. The weekends, I don't care so much because, you know, I don't have to go anywhere. But if I have to go to work, that's like obligation on someone else to bring me. And it sucks. I don't like that because they won't let me work remotely, even though my job is so pointless to be in an office for. I have a laptop too, so it doesn't make sense why I would be in office. But anyway, so they work on it Monday, and they're like, oh, we need to order a special part to fix this. I'm like, okay, when's that going to come in? And they're like, probably like next week. I'm like, okay, cool, next week, another whole week without my car. So a whole week passes, and... <laughs> again we get an update the next week like well they didn't send us the whole part and no one else around in the area has this part so we have to ship it back to to forward to have them fix it like are you kidding me is this something that you couldn't have figured out beforehand at all why'd you have to make me wait a week so and then I'm like when can they take that in Oh, the next following Monday. Man, it's so great how this works. And that's today. That's this Monday right here. It's not Tuesday, but you know what I mean. So they either started working on my car or at least drove into the garage and said, Oh, we'll get to it. So I'm guessing another week. I'm guessing like next Monday I'll have my car. My dad says, you know, this week I'll have it, but I'm not convinced. I'm so just annoyed at this fucking car predicament that is just out of my mind right now yeah that's uh that's kind of what i've been dealing with on that end um on a lighter note news regarding pro skater x thpsx the uh, website that 
I love so dearly. I don't... I don't... I don't know how to explain this. I don't really... I don't want to say I don't work for them, because there's nobody really that works for them. It's just maybe Ace, Crad, and Freddy. I don't, I'm not paid to endorse Pro Skater X. I'm just... I'm a huge fan of them myself. I'm not gonna... I, I became a mod there because of my love for the, the site. Not because of Crad. Don't believe that I... that Crad had something to do with that. He was the person that, that ultimately got me to Ace, but it was it was Ace's decision overall. So... Um, I'm just a huge fan of the site. I'm in no way, you know, paid to endorse them. Uh, despite the funny PR role I have on the Discord. Um, feel free to join the Proskater X Discord. It's linked in the THPS Reddit. It's also on THPSX.com. Um, also, you can join my Discord if you ever want to talk one-on-one -on -one with me, something like that. Uh, other fans of, of my YouTube channel. Um, I probably should link that in my channel. I haven't done that yet. Um, but anyway... So on the news of the Proskater X side, um, while I was gone, KSK, who has previously made the Thug Plus mod for Thug One, released a new updated Blender plugin that allows you to import multiple different things now instead of just um, Thug One and Thug Two scenes. Uh, you can also import PSX files, which are the scene files for the PlayStation versions um, of THPS, which also includes Matt Hoffman 1 and Apocalypse, but the Apocalypse files are structured differently. So you can't, you can't import those. I tried that. Um, I'm sure if you modified the import script, you could probably make it work. Um, I don't really have the want or need to do that. But just putting it out there, I do know Neversoft made Apocalypse. They use the same file formats, but they don't use the same structure, so it's it's not going to import. Uh, but with Matt Hoffman, they do import. Nuts, uh, Let My Nuts Go, has already done a lot of them, and he doesn't plan on stopping, doesn't look like. Um, and so with, with all that, the plugin stuff, when it was first released, on the first couple days, Nuts and I went absolutely crazy on these levels. Uh, we both decided um, together that you know, one one of us will take one game and one of us will take the other. Me being the Pro Skater 4 PlayStation 1 absolute beast master, um, I figured well, it's pretty appropriate that I, I probably take this garbage game and let Nuts have the better game. and. A lot of you know that Press Gator 3 for PlayStation 1 is one of my, if not my favorite, Tony Hawk games. Um, I kind of wanted to leave it to him anyway to get them done, because he would probably do a better job. And he did. He did a fantastic job, and they're all available. All of them are done. Press Gator 4 and Press Gator 3 for PlayStation 1 are all done. They're all noted. They're all scripted. Um, they're all on ProSkaterX.com under the custom content stuff. Um, you can download them all. Um, I'm working on updating some of mine, just to update a couple fixes, and to just try to make them as great as possible. Um, but that being said, I've also been accused of rushing these levels. Nuts and I have also been um, accused of rushing these levels and not being genuine to the actual game. Um, I just want to say a huge, huge fuck you um, to that sort of comment because in no way did we absolutely rush any of these levels um, we'd be spending hours of our days that we probably could have been doing anything else um, such as having lives and you know actually being with our families um, to provide content to users rather than waiting about uh, I don't know, two years to do a single level um, sure they were done in a sense fast only fast relatively because they we got them day after day but that doesn't mean we didn't spend time and effort on them and it's quite a silly argument to think that something so I don't know vanilla is rushed it's PlayStation 1 levels 
they're not rushed they're imported noted and that's it you know if you want to claim that there's original scripts to be had that's just complete bull because pro skater one through four for playstation one the scripts for that game what scripts are there that's exactly the, the biggest point is what scripts are there actually in the damn game you can argue there's gaps sure gaps could totally be added later on i don't think gaps just on a personal note i'm not being defensive here um, i think gaps are kind of a secondary uh, kind of thing to add i don't think gaps are super important if you want to argue that it's supposed to be as genuine as possible sure great gaps sure you can totally argue that gaps add to the level and that they make it seem like it's an actual port of the level but at the same time if you're playing the level and you're grinding and using the ramps that are in the original level as they're originally used how original can you get are you really gap hunting in custom levels they're not tracked so what does it even matter again just a personal note um, but I do plan on adding gaps to to the, um, the levels that I have. I didn't include them in the first build because they're not important. Um, I'm not gonna wait. I'm not gonna make people wait five years to release such a simple map. They're so simplistic. The PlayStation maps are absolutely simplistic. There are bugs in them, but the problem is is that the bugs that were pointed out were not pointed towards me. You would think the person that made the levels would have the bugs directed at them but no they would rather keep them hush hush between each other to talk shit anyway i'll see you guys in the next video where i'll probably still be mad about this good talking to you have a great day see you in the next video the final part by the way goodbye